All right, what's going on YouTube? My name is Tyler Self, and today I'm bringing y'all a quick video showcasing my 2021 lawn care setup. And like I said, I'm just gonna be showcasing sort of everything that I will be using in this upcoming mowing season. And I've been doing this for a few years now. This is actually gonna be my third season in business. So I just kind of wanted to showcase real quick my progression so that y'all can see exactly the equipment that I will be running in this upcoming season. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the truck. The truck that I am running is actually a Ford F-150. Uh, it's the XLT. It is the 5.4 liter uh, V8 engine. It's been a real racehorse for me. Uh, the only thing I've really had to do on it is I recently like changed the tires, but I've had this truck for about three years now and honestly, no really real complaints. It's just been a really solid work truck for me. You can argue about which brand's the best, all this stuff, but at the end of the day, does it pull your trailer? Does it get you where you need to go? And do you believe that it's reliable? And I can say yes to all three of those. Next to my truck, I have my two wheel wheelbarrow here that I use for like mulch. If I'm uh, doing rocks or something, landscaping projects for people, I'll use my wheelbarrow a lot. And then next to that, I have my Scott's Turf Builder uh, seed spreader, seed and grass spreader. Um, I don't do a whole lot of fertilization or anything like that, but it does come in handy from time to time. Sometimes people want me to like spread weed and feed and stuff like that. And I'll do that sort of thing. So I can just offer that to my clients. On the inside of my truck, I actually carry a lot of stuff with me, just like smaller things. Like I, I carry this box that has business cards, it has door hangers, flyers, stuff like that. That sort of thing really goes a long way and it shows that you are actually a real professional, legitimate business. Plus I just have like landscaping trash bags. I've got my hearing protection, zip ties, you know, whatever else small like mechanical things that I would need, I keep in the back of my truck. But now let's go ahead and talk about the mowers that I am running this season. So first things first, I have my Gravely Pro Stance 36 inch. This mower has really been a racehorse for me. I got the 36 inch instead of a bigger deck for the simple reason of I had several yards that I couldn't fit my 42 inch deck into. So I needed a way to try to make myself more efficient without needing to resort to push mowing without kind of wasting time doing all that. So really I look at push mowing as like a last resort. There's a few different dealers in my area, but the closest one to me was actually a Gravely dealer. And that's part of the reason why I really wanted to look into the Gravelys. They sell Gravelys and Ferris mowers, and I feel really happy with my Gravely. I really have no complaints. The next mower I have, and this is actually something I got literally last week. This has been the newest addition to my fleet, and it is actually my Walker T, 23 mower this is a 42 inch walker i bought this mower literally like i said a week ago i was i've been really wanting a walker for a long time because i have some experience with them i have some buddies in the area who also have walkers and honestly there's really no way around the fact that walkers just provide an excellent quality cut they have a lot of versatility with all the decks that you can do when you buy a mower you have to just look in the long term will i ever need a snow plow will i ever need this xyz you know and i just feel like walker has the quality i need it provides the efficiency i need and it just opens up so many different options even things i can do during the off season but now that i'm done covering the mowers itself i'm actually going to flip the camera around and go over everything on my trailer the small engine stuff all of that so here we go before i get into all of this i am going to mention i have in my black husky box there i have a lot of um, tools. I have some oil in there that I use for my mixed fuel cans, stuff like that. I keep most of my stuff in there as well as I have most of my tools in there um, because sometimes you need tools on the job. It's very good and important to have a good set of diverse tools in your uh, kit as you're going from job to job because like I said, you never know something could break down. You may not have the option to have a dealer drive out and help you. You may need like to be able to figure it out on your own. And having tools on hand with you really helps a lot. And right here, down here, is my Black & Decker 22 inch hedge trimmer. And this little guy has been a good little addition. I wouldn't have been able to do landscaping projects without it. I am about to retire it and switch it up with a gas powered one because I really, I really just feel like the gas powered ones 
have so much more um, potential. I feel like they bog down a lot less. And ultimately, you know, I'm running steel on everything else. So I really felt like I just want to kind of build that relationship even further with my steel dealer and kind of keep things simple by having all the same brand as far as my small engine stuff goes. All right, you guys, this is my six by 12 utility trailer. It has been a great little trailer for me. I don't really have any issues with it. I do have a light that I need to fix because um, I actually managed to scrape that up on the side of my garage one day when I was parking it, but don't wanna get into that. That's really kind of embarrassing. As far as the racks that I'm running, these are from the brand Equipment Defender. They really provide great quality racks. Each rack comes with a locking system. But as far as the actual weed eaters that I have, I am running currently the Steel FS94R and the KM131R. And for the KM131R, I have the trimmer head attachment as well as I have the edger attachment you can see down there. I don't have a designated stick edger. That would be next on my list if I so felt inclined to buy one. I don't at this time. I'm really satisfied with just using my combi tool because like I said, that frees up a lot of it creates a lot of efficiencies with me so I can like similar to the walker mowers just buy different attachments and not have to buy an entirely new machine if that makes sense and you'll also notice on both of my trimmers I have equipped the Edget Pro discs and the reason for that is it really simplifies edging lawns I feel like personally the quality that you get from using the Edget Pro disc is just completely just incredible. I really love it. As far as my sprayers go, I actually have two sprayers. They're both from the brand Roundup. This one is the four gallon backpack sprayer, which I actually need to get a replacement hose because I've been having issues with the hose, unfortunately. But back there, you can see I have a hand sprayer right there. That is also a Roundup sprayer. I do need to get a replacement hose on that one too. I don't really know why the hoses have been sort of not performing optimally, but you know, it's one of those things. It is what it is. This is my push mower. This I used a whole lot my first season because like I said, I have quite a few lawns that I have to push mow due to not being able to get um, anything under like 40 inches through the gate in a situation that, you know, the Gravely's in the shop or I just, you know, feel like push mowing, I guess. I will use this mower for that. This is a Troy Bolt. It's the TB430, uh, just a little handheld blower. And as far as my rakes, I have three normal rakes, all from the brand Razorback. I have a I have a rock rake right here, and somewhere I've got a Razorback shovel as well. My gas cans, I have a 2.5 gallon mixed fuel can, which is the dark one there. Then the lighter one, I have the Eagle, which is my normal gasoline can. Honestly, I do believe that at some point I'm gonna go ahead and switch over from these and go to the Sure cans. Whenever these things are really full, it can be taxing on your body to kind of tilt them over. The Sure cans just have an awesome design with the hose where it drains from the bottom. So you don't have to worry about tipping it over as much and it's just overall kind of more convenient. But yeah, you guys, that pretty much sums up the video for today. That is everything I'm running with this upcoming season. I really hope that y'all enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give it one of these. It really does help me out. And if you have any questions, always, I try to reply to most of my comments, drop a comment below. If you just wanna get a discussion going on about any of the equipment or business itself, literally anything, y'all, drop it in the comments. I try to reply to all of my comments and I'm just all about trying to build this community up, really show transparently what's going on within my business so that maybe you guys can sort of get some inspiration out of it. Maybe if you guys are just starting out this season, you can look at what we are doing within the lawn care community. You can get some sort of knowledge out of it and help you make some better informed decisions. But at the end of the day, you just have to kind of figure out why do I want to do this, right? Why am I starting a lawn care business? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Is this something that I want to do long term? And is this something that I'm going to commit to sticking to all the way through the end? No different than if you're going to get a degree, right? If you want to get an education degree, you want to be a teacher, right? You have to finish the program all the way through, see it to the end, and then you'll be successful. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Tyler Self, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.